Hey, Josh. Good to see you again. Um, you know, sometimes we'll see the, uh, a lot of you know college guys come right in, get an opportunity, and then they're out again. Or if it's maybe one game, you got like ten games here potentially uh, left. I mean, you've had two already. What's this experience been like so far? You know, in these first two games, and and what you know can you do in these these other ten for next year? Do you think? Uh, it's it's an incredible opportunity just to be here with the guys right now and and learn from the staff and the players around me and. Uh, I think I'm just going to take it a game at a time and every opportunity to get, try to make the most of it, whether it's one more game, 10 more games, whatever it is in between, uh, just go out there and just uh, play as hard as I can and make a good impression. What has jumped out to you about the NHL game that is maybe different than, you know, other levels you've always, you've experienced? Probably the, the margin for error and like the Christmas of the game, like, uh, at the college level, you make a bad turnover, it might not end up in your net, but here, like, you make a bad turnover, there's a good chance you're going to get great A out of it. And then uh, the players, how, how crisp they move pucks, just very smart hockey at this level, very good players. Yeah. Was there a, uh, you know, not a deer in the headlights, but, you know, just kind of like a surreal type of thing that you had to get past, you know, your first shift or second shift? Yeah, I might have been taking a face off against Jamie Benn to start the game, but, uh, but no, I, I, after a while, it's just it's just hockey, and I kind of just uh, I felt like at the end of the day it was just hockey, and the nerves went away after the first couple shifts. That, that first seam uh, shift, oh, sorry, did that first shift seem long or short? Uh, it, it felt it felt pretty long. <laughs> what was it? I mean, when you look back on it, uh, I mean, it's probably going to be something you remember for a while, right? With uh, you know facing Jamie Ben as your first experience in the NHL, was that cool to, to go out there and get that opportunity? Yeah, it was awesome. The, the guys were great about it too. Like they all, they all came up to me and, uh, and just told me it's something I'll remember forever. And it was just, it was just, it was a great opportunity. It was a great experience. The last one for me is, you know, I know it's only been two games, but you know, from your experience so far, I mean, what has it done for your confidence level to say, Hey, I, I can play at this level. Uh, it's, it's, it's big. Um, just, I just try to stick to the, what I can do and play, like I, I kind of cliche I said a few times, play the way I can play and just play hard and just try to make it difficult as I can. And just something I'm going to continue to learn at this level and, and see uh, what I need to do to make more of an impact. And it's just, just learning, just the whole process. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Next we'll go to Dave Metzl. Go ahead, Dave. Thanks, Glenn. Hey, Josh. Uh, I, I chatted with uh, Chris Clark yesterday. Uh, and I said, you know, what do you think of Josh's game? And he said he plays just like he did in college. What, what do you feel like? Uh, how do you feel your your game as you brought it forward from college through the monsters to where you are now has served you well for being in the NHL? What what is it about your game that that, that works well for you at this level? Yeah, I, like he he said, I've always played like this, so it's kind of helped me. I just I just keep it really simple. Uh, and like I've mentioned, I just try to make it as hard as I can as, uh, for the other team by using my body, playing physical, staying above the puck, doing the little things um, that are so important at this level and they make the difference. And so I think that's why uh, he, he mentioned that. It's just because I've been doing that my whole life and it's just something that I continue to work on and making it as diffi difficult as I can for the other team. How, uh, how helpful have your teammates been in, in helping you assimilate to this? They've been unbelievable. They've been very supportive. They, they're on the ice, especially too. Uh, they're great about talking and helping me out, uh, showing me plays I need to do and uh, being in the right positions and off the ice. They've been amazing too, learning from these guys, just taking this all in. And uh, like I said, they've been amazing, great supporters of me. Uh, yeah. Kind of crazy to be reunited with Andrew Peake after what you guys went through in Green Bay, huh? Yeah, it's a it's small world. <laughs> Uh, and my last one, I'm sorry, I have to ask the non-hockey question, but with your sisters coming down to Dallas and everything else, what's up with all the J names in the Dunn household? Is there a story behind that? Uh, you got to ask my parents about that one. I don't even know why they did that, but uh, just maybe it was easier after after a couple kids. They're like, all right, six is easy. Let's just keep a J so we can try to remember all their names. <laughs> all right, perfect. Good luck tonight. Thanks. Thank you.